Hi, this is Alex Day with EXP Realty out here at Summit Parks, community by Fisher Homes. We got this three bed, two and a half bath home, just over 2,600 square feet with a two car attached garage. If you have any questions about this home, feel free to reach out to me anytime. All of my information's in the description below. Let's go take a look inside. Coming through the front door, you've got this little hallway here, looking back through to the living room. We've got a dining room here off to the right, which could be used as an office if you wanted to. No built-in light here, but does have the fixture and the ceiling ready to go. Three nice windows looking out to the front, looking over that front porchway. Then off to the left here is the entrance that would most likely be used more often. We've got coat closet here mudroom sitting area, coat rack here. And across from that, we have a half bathroom with this interesting design on the floor, a single sink. And then through here is the attached garage. This is a side attached garage. It's got some windows in here, plenty of space for cars and a little bit for storage. Electrical panels also out here and access to this side of the roof area. This would be the door that's most likely used coming through the garage. There is a walkway around the front. Coming back here, we've got the heat and air control there. Across from that, we have closet for the water heater. There's a little bit of room in there for storage. And we've got the living room, kitchen, eating kitchen area. So first thing you notice obviously is this living room with huge built-in fireplace, which extends to the ceiling and those huge windows there. We have the two that can open and that one can open, but the rest are fixed shut. Do have a nice ceiling fan fixture there as well. And there's a little bit of lip on the fireplace there to put stuff on. And that is an electric one We've also got plugs for the TV mount on that fireplace. So a huge room, really tall ceilings. And then we've also got the kitchen here. It has the same LV port, LVP flooring throughout. It's a nice color, it was laid well. This is an eating kitchen, so you could put a table in here under this chandelier. And it's got three big windows as well. And this island does have a lip, so you could make it into a breakfast bar and put some benches there. I've seen a lot in Fisher Homes, they have the hanging lights. They do have the light fixture holes there, but haven't put any in. I think it's nice to have the lights, but it does make this space feel a little more open. And I really love the backsplash that they've got on this side of the wall here. Adds some nice texture and difference in color. But plenty of storage space, plenty of counter space. Got a farm style sink here, really deep basin. Got the stove and microwave, as well as the dishwasher and fridge. And then this does look out to the living room and there's all those windows. So a really great kitchen area. Lots of storage, because we also have this pantry to the side. So good size and breakfast bar, sorry, coffee bar, maybe alcohol bar here with some more storage and more counter space. And then this does loop back through to the dining area slash front door. Out the side over here, we have access to the patio from the kitchen. And it's kind of its own little alcove area here. There's the primary bedroom door on the other side, which we'll get to. So going through from the corner of the living room to the left, we have laundry room, washer dryer. It's got that same flooring that was in the bathroom. And then here we have the primary bedroom, which is huge, easily fit any size furniture in here. 
no worries about space, lots of windows for natural light. We also have that door to the patio that we saw earlier. And then in the corner, we have the full primary bathroom. No door, just has an opening. Haven't really heard any feedback on that yet, but it's kind of nice. And then you've got private toilet on the left here, which does have its own door that you can share. We have double sink with a middle sort of bench area where you could put a chair or maybe a laundry basket. Lots of storage space. I like these, these um, storage cabinets. The color goes well with this flooring and the hardware. Huge mirror across the wall. The other side, we have this massive shower, which does have two built-ins. So it is double-sided. A little skinny window there for some natural light. Tile work is really good. It's a unique style. Glad they've got that little bench there. You can put your stuff or sit down. And at the end, we've got this massive primary walk-in closet. Plenty of storage in here. It's a big room, really open. It actually loops back through to the laundry room, which is nice. So you can take your laundry straight into the closet. So I'm going back through the house, living room, eating kitchen. There's the front door. And then we've got the stairs going up. And here, I'll give you a little show looking down to the living room kitchen area and that huge fireplace. Then we have this flex space, which could be used in office area, kids play area. I've always wondered if you could add another wall here and make this another bedroom. Over to the right, we have the second bedroom. Now you could fit a queen size bed in here. It's a good size room. Has some natural light, but not too much. Maybe if they'd have put one window on this wall, like a full size window, might be a bit better. And they do have walk-in closet to the side. Decent amount of space. Not huge, but it's got a good amount. And then next we've got HVAC closet. And then we have full bathroom. It's just a singular sink, lots of uh, counter space, and this is possible for a chair or laundry basket underneath. Nice big window. Surprised they didn't put black hardware in here like in the other bathroom. They went with the chrome, but they got this same flooring. And then they've got the shower tub here which is nice. And then linen closet behind the door. It's good for storage. And at the end of the hallway, we have the third bedroom. And this one's a little smaller than the last one. You could fit a queen size bed in here still. Might be a little tight, but you could fit one in. I do prefer that this one has two full windows. Unlike the other one, it does have a walk-in closet as well. And this one is a bit wider. So same amount of rack space, but it's it's wider than the other one. So the other one is a bigger bedroom. This one has a bigger closet. Give you another quick walk through. So yeah, we've got, this is the Charles floor plan. We've got three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, 2,630 square feet, two car attached garage, built in fireplace, open floor plan, first floor primary, two bedrooms upstairs, and a dining room slash office.
So I hope you enjoyed this video tour of this brand new build. If you have any questions or want to see it in person, feel free to reach out to me anytime. My information is below and my direct number is 502-439-9821. So I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.